What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scoop and Marina. Today's video discussion is going to be on our SAC rate or our surface air consumption rate. And there's several reasons that we need to understand how to do this calculation, but I think sometimes people get confused because of all the formulas and calculations they have to do. So I'm going to try to make it very, very simple for you. Now in the future, I'm going to do another uh, air calculation, you will, or equation for you which is our RMV calculation, which stands for Respiratory Minute Volume Rate or Calculation, and I'll show you that in a future video. <clears throat> for, but for today, we're gonna look at our surface air consumption, and there's three things that we need to understand or have those variables, if you will. We need to know air consumed, we need to know time at depth, and we also need to know what that depth is in atmospheric pressure. And there's several ways that you can figure up how much air you breathe at any given time, depending on what depth you're at, of course. And you can do this in a pool, you can do it in open water, you can do it anywhere. Now, what we want to do is take how much air we consume. So at the beginning of the dive, you're going to look at your gauges or your computer. It's going to tell you how much air is in the tank. At the end of your dive, however long it is, you're going to look at your gauges and computers and, and re-monitor how much air is in your tank. And then you're going to minus that, take the starting pressure, the ending pressure, minus them, and it will give you how much air you actually use PSI, but we're once again going to convert that into how much do you breathe per minute. So let's say you start with 3,000, you end with 2,500. That means you breathe up 500 PSI. Okay? Now what we have to do is determine how long you were under the water. Let's say that we were under the water for 30 minutes. And now what we need is the depth. How deep were you? Now for easy calculation today, we're just going to be using 33 feet and we're going to be doing a salt water calculation, not a fresh water calculation. So we're going to say that we was at a depth of 33 feet of salt water. Now the reason I put salt water there, you could very easily do this with fresh water, but it's very important to understand if it's salt water, our calculation is going to be slightly different than if it was fresh water, and that's what I'm going to get into next. When we figure out depth in atmospheric pressure, we know what our depth was, whether it's meters or feet, but we need to know the absolute atmospheric pressure that is on that diver at that depth. And the way that we calculate that is you're going to take your depth, you're going to divide it by whether it's salt water or fresh water, okay? So we're using salt water. If it was fresh water, we'd use 34 instead of 33. And then we're going to simply add one to it. Well, this was an easy one to figure out simply because we learned this in open water. We understand that every 33 feet of salt water, we go through a new atmospheric pressure. So if I took 33 divided by 33, that'd be one. If I have one constant atmospheric pressure at the surface, my total atmospheric pressure would be two ATA or two absolute or, abs or atmospheric absolute. So now that I have these three variables, I can move on to the equation to calculate what my SAC rate is. And the SAC rate calculator, if you will, starts with gas consumed, time underwater, and depth in atmospheric pressure, and it's simple division. I'm going to take 500 PSI for gas consumed. I'm going to divide that by time underwater, which was 30 minutes. And then I'm going to divide that by my atmospheric pressure of that depth, which 33 feet being my depth, atmospheric pressure being 2. And that will give me my total PSI consumed at the surface or at that depth if, as if I was at the surface. So it's real easy math. We use a calculator here. We take 500 PSI. We divide it by 30 minutes underwater and divide that by two atmospheres of pressure. And that gives me 8. 3.3. And that 8.33 is how much PSI a diver breathes per minute. Now, this is not you. This is not me. This is a theoretical diver here. What I'm doing is simply showing you that if a diver consumed 500 PSI during his dive, he spent a total of 30 minutes at that average depth and that average depth being a 33-foot depth, say he's on a reef or something, which is two atmospheric pressures, or two uh, pressures of atmosphere, if you will, 
you can use the sack rate calculator, which is gas consumed divided by time underwater, divided by depth or depth and atmospheric pressure to come up with how much PSI per minute that diver breathes. So guys, I hope it makes it easy to understand when you're calculating sack rate. Like I said, in a future video, we're gonna show you, show you your RMV, which is your respiratory minute volume rate and show you how to calculate that depending on what size tank that you have. But guys, I really appreciate you watching the video. If you got any questions or comments, please put it down in the comment section below. As always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter, like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube, and as always, guys, we appreciate your business.